So, hello. Uh, good morning and welcome. Uh, my name is Dr. Stephen Hopwood and I want to take some time today with you to look at some very important vitamins that are key to our immune system functioning. So, the information that I'm going to share with you today is based uh, on an article written by one of my um, very highly respected teachers, is a Dr. David Brownstein. Now, I'll put the link to the article that he wrote in the notes to this video and you can refer to that article specifically. Um, but the details are that Dr. David Brownstein and myself believe that there are, amongst other things, four key uh, vitamins uh, that are important to optimize in order to optimize your immune system functioning. And those vitamins are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin E, key vitamins. So vitamin A, um, and we'll just take a little bit of time to go through the vitamins. We'll start with vitamin A. So vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, and it has a very important function for maintaining the integrity of the epithelial cells of the lining of our respiratory tract. So that's the sensitive membranes um, that, where we receive you know, the air and transmission. And it is also responsible for the protective secretions that come out of the epithelial cells that that line the tract. So very important for the respiratory tract function. Uh, it's an immune modulator. Uh, it has immune enhancing properties and is particularly important for the, the thymus gland. So um, it also has a specific antiviral effect. So that's vitamin A. Uh, you, it's a fat soluble vitamin so you can overdose on it so it's important not to take high doses in the long term. 5,000 international units is, is commonly regarded as a, as a, as a good daily um, amount of uh, vitamin A to take. Uh, if you look at Dr. Brownstein's websites, he's recommending higher doses than that. Uh, but you, what, because it's a fat soluble vitamin and people are deficient, you can um, put clients on loading doses to bring them up to optimal and then come back to a maintenance. So that's, that's true with all of the fat soluble vitamins, A, D, and E, um, is that uh, you, know, you can do a loading dose and then a maintenance dose. But you've got to know what you're doing, and um, you know that is uh, an individualized process. Uh, but I can refer here to the standard, safe, um, commonly used daily dosage, which for vitamin A is 5,000 international units daily. So that's that's vitamin A for you. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Well, vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, so you, it's non-toxic. You can't overdose on it, so that's good in a way. But also, it flushes out of the body very quickly, so it goes in, does its job, and then leaves again. So, to optimize the effect of vitamin C on your physiology, you want to take vitamin C regularly throughout the day. And if you're taking iron to build blood and oxygenate your system, then you want to take vitamin C at the same time as you take your iron because it helps the absorption. So, vitamin C. A powerful antioxidant, a key for immune system, key for detoxification, it's a glutathione precursor. Um, but also, uh, what you've got to watch out for is bowel to tolerance. Some people find vitamin C aggravating and it gives them a loose bowel, but that tolerance does change. So you can start with 1,000 milligrams twice, three times a day, um, and can build up to, to 10,000 milligrams a day, depending on your bowel habit. So that's another key vitamin, vitamin C also, we've got reports in the media uh, which reflect the fact that uh, intravenous vitamin C has been used in places like China to treat certain viruses um, with apparently good effect. So, but I wasn't there, so it's just what I have heard. Um, so vitamin C is key. Um, vitamin D, well, we all heard of vitamin D, it's a sunshine vitamin, but it's not something that's commonly optimized now. Normally you will need to take supplementation to optimize because otherwise you're gonna to have to spend all day lying in the sun, which would be great, but not very good for your skin. Um, so supplementation for vitamin D to drive it to a point of optimization is key. Uh, it's a potent immune system modulator. It's known to be associated with colorectal cancer. No, deficiency in vitamin D is associated with colorectal cancer. And it's very hard, you know, to get it tested. The testing for all sorts of viruses now what would be really helpful is if we could test people's vitamin D and optimize them. And if, if the doctors did that, then that would be super helpful. You can get your vitamin D test through a Birmingham lab, and I'll put the link again below. You can, uh, and they'll send you a little uh, finger prick test, 28 pounds. And then, um, you know, you can uh, talk to your practitioner 
work out uh, the way to optimize your dose and then double check to make sure that you know that's what's actually been achieved so um, that's vitamin D 5,000 international units again similar to vitamin A is a common standard daily maintenance dose uh, but you don't want to exceed you know two or three hundred in you know, absolute 300 max, but 200 is optimal to be honest. Your body has got a capping mechanism about 175, so to hover between 150 and 200 um, is really the way to go. Uh, you might drop down to 150 in the winter, up to 200 in the summer, but that's your sort of oscillation window that you want to try and optimize. So that's your vitamin D. Vitamin E, again, very, very good article that I found on vitamin E um, that I'll put in the links below. It's a fat soluble vitamin, very powerful antioxidant. But it's, vitamin E is key for your immune cell function. This is what vitamin E does. It does your macrophages, your T cells, your dendritic cells, and natural killer cells. So um, that's where vitamin E comes in as an immune modulator and supporting those immune cell functions. So there you have vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin E. They're my top four vitamins that I recommend um, to optimize your immune system. Uh, if you take the correct doses, you know, the side effects that you'll find is that they, you know, they, these sorts of things will help you know, your, your general health and well-being and, uh, and generally support your immune system, which again, uh, in line with Professor Robert Thomas, his comments um, that we quoted last week, uh, the more you can support your immune system, the more likely you are to decrease your incidence of acute and chronic diseases. So... Um, that's that uh, for today. Um, I'll just run through, for those of you that missed it, uh, my, t my key uh, 10 points that we uh, that last time. So vitamins and minerals um, for the immune system, this is. Fatty acids and amino acids, essential fatty acids and amino acids are key to the immunity. Liver function, gut health, thyroid function, blood, opt blood and oxygen optimization, uh, working with your diet, exercise optimizing your physiological pH, and also keeping yourself in an, an electromagnetically uh, clean environment. So we're all subject to high levels of dirty electromagnetic energy frequencies through Wi-Fi and phones and all the rest of it. So this is an important factor with the health. Um, but we're going to go through all of those uh, with a bit more detail today. We've um, discussed four key vitamins, and uh, with the next video we'll discuss four key minerals, uh, and then we'll work our way and put some flesh on the bone and, um, and see what we can do to support your optimal uh, health and immunity in this difficult time. So thanks for listening, everybody. Um, yeah, it's great to uh, connect in this way. Um, please do um, look after yourselves, uh, keep fit, keep healthy, keep informed. You know, don't just look at the mainstream media. Open your eyes a little bit and... Um, keep informed about what's actually going on uh, on our beloved planet and uh, keep in touch. So thank you very much, everybody, and I'll speak with you soon. Thank you.